At this point, you should have an image gallery similar to mine. Um, each one of these thumbnails links to the bigger size image, and you verify that that's in fact the case. Uh, now, what we want to do is actually add the Lightbox functionality. So, first order of business is to just Google Lightbox 2. And if you Google Lightbox 2, or who knows, maybe by the time you see this video, it'll be Lightbox 3. Um, maybe we just go with the light box, how about that? You should find um, this particular uh, plugin. Now it's not the jQuery Lightbox plugin, it's just Lightbox 2 kind of standalone. And the website is currently right here. Um, let me show you the URL, so likely you'll be finding it at the same place if it doesn't change. And Navigation on the left, it has all the stuff you need to implement it, but I would start with the download button, uh, the download link rather, and find the latest version and just go ahead and download it. And I'm going to download it. And okay, that was pretty quick. Um, I mean, the, the program is a JavaScript, so let's look at what we actually got. I'll bring it to my desktop and unzip it and take a peek at all the files that we have in there. Let's see. So we have um, an index.html file where this is just more about how to use it than anything else. This is nothing that you need to put in your own pages, so that's fine. We have a JS folder, which is the actual JavaScript, and um, if you kind of look at this, this is uh, what's inside of here is JavaScript and if you start peeking through the code you see it's pretty complex and um, well just be grateful that you, <laughs> you didn't have to write all this just to get that functionality um, and, and you know if you're completely new and haven't seen any of this you don't even worry about it because we're not gonna need to know any JavaScript to actually implement this I mean if you know JavaScript then you could potentially edit the code and get it to work all sorts of different ways but um, that's not what we're going to go for with this. And all, we see two other folders here. We have a CSS folder, which is how, if we want to make some changes to how Lightbox works visually, um, we could make it in here. And we also have an images folder. And these images are, um, they define this stuff. Like when I click here, you had that little animated GIF that. Um, that's showed it was loading. We have this preview and next, or previous and next and close. This is all coming from the uh, those images over there. But uh, one step at a time. Let's just download this stuff and let's actually try to read how to use it and implement it. So if we go through the how-to, uh, we need to first set it up. Now the deal is is that just how we link our pages to CSS, we need to link our at least the photo page um, to this Lightbox code. Otherwise, it's not going to have the software it needs to make it happen. You know, it's almost similar to how you have to install Dreamweaver and Photoshop on your computer. You could think of it the same way. You need to install Lightbox 2 into this particular page on your uh, on your site. Um, so let's see, Lightbox 2 uses the prototype framework and script delicious effects library, blah, blah, blah. You're going to need to include these three JavaScript files into your header in this order. Okay, so let's look at them. Now, this is very similar to um, some links that we've seen before. I mean, um, this, whoops, this is saying that we have a script and the type is JavaScript and really the important thing that we gotta look at here is the source this is a relative link and it's telling our page where it can find the JavaScript so that means that that we have to place these files inside of a folder called JS uh, that's it we just have to place these files inside of a folder called JS so we gotta be careful how we the hardest part about all this is is that we place the images that place the files in the right place so our picture our pictures html is right here now according to this link that we're gonna copy and paste into our code 
we need to have a JS folder with that information. Well, look at this. So from the download that we got, we got the JS folder. So I'm going to put it right there. So now, let's see, I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to go into my pictures.html right into the code and it has to be nested inside of the head tag. Um, and that's where we have all the rest of our uh, stuff, just metadata. For example, our uh, our link to our uh, CSS is up there as well. So it doesn't matter where we put this in in relation to the CSS link. You could put it above or, or below. That's fine. Um, the key thing that the instructions said is that we have to keep them in that order, but we're just copying and pasting. So once you copy and paste it, just don't change the order. It's going to be prototype, script delicious, and lightbox. So let's save that. And what happened? Anything good? Okay. So here's how you could verify that you've put the stuff in the right place. The new tabs should be right there. You see them? Because they're linked within the document. If you don't see these, then you haven't placed these files in the in the right place because check this out. If I were to go to my web project and um, I don't know, even if I rename this folder to JavaScript, all of a sudden, let's see, let's refresh that. Oh, uh, now it's uh, it still still works. Uh, 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 look at this. No, no, it doesn't because I have this error. It's already telling me script delicious is not on the local disk. So, um, yeah, if you have that error, that's no good either. Just make sure that that folder. Don't rename it. Just pop that JS folder in the same folder that your pictures.html is in, and that is all you need to do to get the JavaScripts linked to your document.